Hello and welcome to Success Interviews. These are where I chat to a fellow female business owner and find out more about why they started their business and how they measure success. And today I'm delighted to be joined by Zita Lewis, who's actually my virtual assistant and I've known through VA networking for, I think it's about seven years now, but I could be wrong on that. It's been a long time anyway. It has um, been a long time. It has. So Zita, do you want to tell me a little bit about your business and why you started it? Yeah, so I am um, Zeta Lewis. That's my business name. It's unique, so I thought I'd stick with it. Um, tagline is how can you help in your business? And I, unlike a lot of people that I think you've spoken to on these interviews, I didn't plan on <laughs> running my own business. I kind of fell into it accidentally. Um, I worked within admin for a number of years and then when I came to have my children I was finding it hard to find something like a lot of mums that fitted because I didn't want to work full time you know the whole idea of having children was to raise your children I didn't want to put them in a nursery Monday to Friday and only have weekends and evenings that just wasn't what I wanted to do so I kind of had a couple of part-time jobs that tried to fit in. My husband managed to do four days, his five-day week over four days so that he could have a day off and then I could work. But nothing kind of really fitted um, with family life. So um, a friend of mine that I worked with at an employed position asked me to do a job for her. Um, unbeknown to me, she was a virtual administrator and I didn't even know it was a thing back then. And so I kind of started with helping other people in their businesses, which is how we got to know each other first. Um, and then slowly I've kind of built up my own um, client base and just do an odd bit of associate work for other VAs, but mainly have my own clients. That's fantastic. And that's a common thread I often hear in some of these interviews and with other businesses I talk to is they needed something that fitted around their family. Because, yes, we can work and be mums. But it's not always easy. And actually having our own businesses gives us that flexibility that we need. I think there's always that mum guilt, isn't there? You know, especially when they're younger and even now, actually, because I've got teenagers now. But if, you know, you can't do something or, you know, attend something or take them somewhere, you know, after school clubs, whatever it may be. You know, there's always that side of you that that feels guilty because you can't go to everything that they want you to go to. And I think, you know, us mums have that on a day, daily basis yeah. as teenagers. <laughs> yeah, definitely, definitely. So my next question to you, Zita, is how do you measure success? I think success to me, it's it's not, and I, I know this is a common thread as well, it's not financial, although, you know, when when my kids were small, you know, we did have money worries. My husband lost his job just as our second child was born. So he was out of work for six months, which was lovely, you know, um, having him at home when when I had two children under under two. But it's you know, it was financially it was difficult. Um, so money did play a factor. But in the very beginning, it was just almost like my extra money. So it wasn't it, it wasn't a big factor for starting the business. It was freedom um and something that I could work around the children um and now I wish I'd done it and found it years ago <laughs> years ago uh, because I did juggle um with other jobs so I was doing a salaried job as well as doing um the VA on the side so it took a while to build up and have the courage to actually leave a paid part-time position and go completely um, into my own business um, because I was always worried about whether it would be a success, whether I would be able to cover the bills, whether I would have, you know, the time um, and all of that kind of thing. So I, I did balance the two for a while, which, you know, which was interesting and uh, <laughs> probably gave me less freedom um, yeah. in the short term than I wanted. Yeah, no, freedom is such a big thing and I, it's often something we talk about as business owners, but it isn't always out there publicly, is it? It's all about the money and six figures is something I see flashed around so much, but nobody ever flashes around as much as that. Start your own business and have freedom. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, if I want to juggle, I take Fridays off now. When I first started, I wouldn't dream of doing that. Um, but my coach was like, you, you know, do you want to be working full time, essentially Monday to Friday, nine to five, even in your own business? And I'm like, well, actually, no, I don't. 
Um, so I've gradually cut back and now Fridays I do. I do work in my own business on Fridays if I choose to. Um, but I don't have that, you know, you have to do Fridays. So now it's very clear um, when I talk to new clients or on board them that Fridays I don't I don't work yeah, Fridays. Yeah. And I'm hoping at some point <laughs> to bring that in on a Monday as well. That's yeah. my goal. Brilliant. That's fantastic. So my last question for you today is what one tip would you give to your younger self? And it doesn't have to be one because everyone says I don't have just one. <laughs> well, I I actually think that it's OK to make mistakes um, as long as you learn from them. And I think mistakes are there to teach us. And within the VA community, you know, I've made the same mistakes as a lot of VAs say these days, you know, pricing too low not having contracts, um, continuing to work with someone, even though your gut says don't. That's another big one for me. Always trust your gut because there's been at least two or three occasions where I've not and then I've paid for it <laughs> to on. So I think, um, you know, mistakes are fine as long as you learn from them. Um, and, you know, as a small business owner, I've never worked so hard in my life but I'm doing something I enjoy doing. I don't wake up on a Monday morning with dread, um, which is amazing. And, you know, I'm learning every day. There's new things that I learn on a regular basis in business because, you know, I've got no formal training as a lot of business, small business owners. You know, I've got admin experience from the age of 16, you know, over 30 years. But running a business, I have no experience of at all. So it's a huge learning curve and, you know, learn something new every day. Yeah. But you've now got over 10 years of experience of running a business because you've been doing I it. <laughs> I know. I, I, it, it is amazing. And as I say, in the early days, I was doing it alongside salaried position. So I've not been running it solely as my own business for 10 years. But yes, it's an amazing milestone. And yeah, just such an achievement that I I have now, you know, told my kids anything is possible and my now 16 year old started their own business at the age of 13 and that's still going and still evolving so you know it, I think it's a good example to show your children as well that we can be strong independent women running businesses if we choose to. Yeah that's absolutely fantastic and I think what you say about only mistakes is so important it's so hard sometimes to actually say I've done something wrong or something's not quite going how it should be and actually owning that and sharing that and saying this happened it went wrong and this is what I did to turn it around is much better than just trying to paper over it and hide it away yeah absolutely accountability is such a big thing for me because and I have this <laughs> I have this argument with my children sometimes you know it's okay to say I hold my hands up I made a mistake yeah. You know, take accountability for it. Everyone makes mistakes. You know, it's OK to make mistakes. But, you know, take accountability and learn from that mistake and do it differently next time. I think that's all you can do. Yeah, I think that's a brilliant way to end our call today. So thank you so much for joining me, Zita. We will pop some details of how you can connect with Zita below the video. And I hope that people join me on another success interview soon. Bye for now.